The Greek alphabet has been used to write the Greek language since the late 9th or early 8th century BC. It is derived from the earlier Phoenician alphabet, and was the first alphabetic script to have distinct letters for vowels as well as consonants. In archaic and early classical times, the Greek alphabet existed in many different local variants, but, by the end of the 4th century BC, the Euclidean alphabet, with 24 letters, ordered from alpha to omega, had become standard and it is this version that is still used to write Greek today. These 24 letters are, alpha alpha, beta beta, gamma gamma, delta delta, epsilon epsilon, zeta zeta, eta eta, theta theta, iota iota, kappa kappa, lambda lambda, mu mu, nu nu, xi xi, omicron omicron, pi pi, rho rho, sigma sigma, sigma, tau tau, upsilon upsilon, phi phi, chi chi, psi psi, and omega omega. The Greek alphabet is the ancestor of the Latin and Cyrillic scripts. Like Latin and Cyrillic, Greek originally had only a single form of each letter, it developed the letter-case distinction between uppercase and lowercase forms in parallel with Latin during the modern era. Sound values and conventional transcriptions for some of the letters differ between ancient and modern Greek usage, because the pronunciation of Greek has changed significantly between the 5th century BC and today. Modern and ancient Greek also use different diacritics. Apart from its use in writing the Greek language, in both its ancient and its modern forms, the Greek alphabet today also serves as a source of technical symbols and labels in many domains of mathematics, science and other fields. Letters Sound values In both ancient and modern Greek, the letters of the Greek alphabet have fairly stable and consistent symbol-to-sound mappings, making pronunciation of words largely predictable. Ancient Greek spelling was generally near phonemic. For a number of letters, sound values differ considerably between ancient and modern Greek, because their pronunciation has followed a set of systematic phonological shifts that affected the language in its post-classical stages. Examples Notes among consonant letters, all letters that denoted voiced plosive consonants, b, d, g, and aspirated plosives, p, t, k, in ancient Greek stand for corresponding fricative sounds in modern Greek. The correspondences are as follows Among the vowel symbols, modern Greek sound values reflect the radical simplification of the vowel system of post-classical Greek, merging multiple formerly distinct vowel phonemes into a much smaller number. This leads to several groups of vowel letters denoting identical sounds today. Modern Greek orthography remains true to the historical spellings in most of these cases. As a consequence, the spellings of words in modern Greek are often not predictable from the pronunciation alone, while the reverse mapping, from spelling to pronunciation, is usually regular and predictable. The following vowel letters and digraphs are involved in the mergers. Modern Greek speakers typically use the same, modern symbol sound mappings in reading Greek of all historical stages. In other countries, students of ancient Greek may use a variety of conventional approximations of the historical sound system in pronouncing ancient Greek. <laughs> Digraphs and letter combinations Several letter combinations have special conventional sound values different from those of their single components. Among them are several digraphs of vowel letters that formerly represented diphthongs but are now monophthongized. In addition to the four mentioned above, a, i, oi, yi, there is also a, oi, and o, pronounced, u. The ancient Greek diphthongs o, u, and a are pronounced avenue, ev, and iv in modern Greek. In some environments, they are devoiced to af, ef, and if, respectively. The modern Greek consonant combinations emp and stand for b and d or mb and nd respectively, z stands for dz and t stands for ts. In addition, both in ancient and modern Greek, the letter γ, before another velar consonant, stands for the velar nasal, thus ng and reek are pronounced like English ng. In analogy to emp and reek is also used to stand for g. There are also the combinations anch and nx. Topic. Diacritics In the polytonic orthography traditionally used for ancient Greek, the stressed vowel of each word carries one of three accent marks, either the acute accent, a the grave accent, a or the circumflex accent a or a. 
These signs were originally designed to mark different forms of the phonological pitch accent in ancient Greek. By the time their use became conventional and obligatory in Greek writing, in late antiquity, pitch accent was evolving into a single stress accent, and thus the three signs have not corresponded to a phonological distinction in actual speech ever since. In addition to the accent marks, every word initial vowel must carry either of two so called breathing marks. The rough breathing, ha marking an h sound at the beginning of a word, or the smooth breathing, a marking its absence. The letter rho, rho, although not a vowel, also carries a rough breathing in word initial position. If a rho was geminated within a word, the first rho always had the smooth breathing and the second the rough breathing, or leading to the transliteration rrh. The vowel letters alpha, eta, omega carry an additional diacritic in certain words, the so-called iota subscript, which has the shape of a small vertical stroke or a miniature iota below the letter. This iota represents the former offglide of what were originally long diphthongs, i a oi i e, i, 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 which became monophthongized during antiquity. Another diacritic used in Greek is the diaresis, indicating a hiatus. This system of diacritics was first developed by the scholar Aristophanes of Byzantium c. 257 c. 185–180 BC, who worked at the Museum in Alexandria during the 3rd century BC. Aristophanes of Byzantium also was the first to divide poems into lines, rather than writing them like prose, and also introduced a series of signs for textual criticism. In 1982, a new, simplified orthography, known as monotonic was adopted for official use in modern Greek by the Greek state. It uses only a single accent mark, the acute also known in this context as tonos, i.e. simply, accent, marking the stressed syllable of polysyllabic words, and occasionally the diaresis to distinguish diphthongal from digraph readings in pairs of vowel letters, making this monotonic system very similar to the accent mark system used in Spanish. The polytonic system is still conventionally used for writing ancient Greek, while in some book printing and generally in the usage of conservative writers it can still also be found in use for modern Greek. Although it is not a diacritic, the comma has a similar function as a silent letter in a handful of Greek words, principally distinguishing o, t, o, t, whatever, from o, t, o, t, that. Romanization. There are many different methods of rendering Greek text or Greek names in the Latin script. The form in which classical Greek names are conventionally rendered in English goes back to the way Greek loanwords were incorporated into Latin in antiquity. In this system, kappa is replaced with c, the diphthongs i and oi are rendered as a and o or ash, respectively, and a and o are simplified to i and u respectively. In modern scholarly transliteration of ancient Greek, kappa will usually be rendered as k, and the vowel combinations i, oi, a, o as i, oi, a, o respectively. The letters θ and φ are generally rendered as th and ph, chi as either ch or kh, and word initial ρ as rh. For modern Greek, there are multiple different transcription conventions. They differ widely, depending on their purpose, on how close they stay to the conventional letter correspondences of ancient Greek-based transcription systems, and to what degree they attempt either an exact letter-by-letter -letter transliteration or rather a phonetically based transcription. Standardized formal transcription systems have been defined by the International Organization for Standardization as ISO 843, by the United Nations Group of Experts on Geographical Names, by the Library of Congress, and others. History Origins During the Mycenaean period, from around the 16th century to the 12th century BC, Linear B was used to write the earliest attested form of the Greek language, known as Mycenaean Greek. This writing system, unrelated to the Greek alphabet, last appeared in the 13th century BC. In the late 9th century BC or early 8th century BC, the Greek alphabet emerged. The period between the use of the two writing systems, during which no Greek texts are attested, is known as the Greek Dark Ages. The Greeks adopted the alphabet from the earlier Phoenician alphabet, one of the closely related scripts used for the West Semitic languages. However, the Phoenician alphabet is limited to consonants. When it was adopted for writing Greek, certain consonants were adapted to express vowels. 
The use of both vowels and consonants makes Greek the first alphabet in the narrow sense, as distinguished from the abjads used in Semitic languages, which have letters only for consonants. Greek initially took over all of the 22 letters of Phoenician. Five were reassigned to denote vowel sounds, the glide consonants, j, yod, and with w -a -w were used for i iota, iota, and u upsilon, upsilon, respectively, the glottal stop consonant Aleph was used for a alpha alpha. The pharyngeal an was turned into o omicron omicron, and the letter for h he was turned into e epsilon epsilon. A doublet of w a w was also borrowed as a consonant for w digamma. In addition, the Phoenician letter for the emphatic glottal h heth was borrowed in two different functions by different dialects of Greek, as a letter for h eta heta by those dialects that had such a sound, and as an additional vowel letter for the long eta eta by those dialects that lacked the consonant. Eventually, a seventh vowel letter for the long omega omega was introduced. Greek also introduced three new consonant letters for its aspirated plosive sounds and consonant clusters, phi for p, chi for k, and psi for ps. In Western Greek variants, chi was instead used for per kilo second, and psi for k. The origin of these letters is a matter of some debate. Three of the original Phoenician letters dropped out of use before the alphabet took its classical shape, the letter S san, which had been in competition with sigma, sigma denoting the same phoneme, S, the letter kappa, which was redundant with kappa, kappa for k, and digamma, whose sound value, with dropped out of the spoken language before or during the classical period. Greek was originally written predominantly from right to left, just like Phoenician, but scribes could freely alternate between directions. For a time, a writing style with alternating right to left and left to right lines called boustrophedon, literally, ox turning, after the manner of an ox plowing a field was common, until in the classical period the left to right writing direction became the norm. Individual letter shapes were mirrored depending on the writing direction of the current line. <laughs> Archaic variants There were initially numerous local epichoric variants of the Greek alphabet, which differed in the use and non-use of the additional vowel and consonant symbols and several other features. Epichoric alphabets are commonly divided into four major types according to their different treatments of additional consonant letters for the aspirated consonants, p, k, and consonant clusters per kilosecond, p, s, of Greek. These four types are often conventionally labeled as green, red, light blue and «dark blue» types, based on a color-coded map in a seminal 19th-century work on the topic, Studien zur Geschichte des griechischen Alphabets by Adolf Kirchhoff 1867, the «green» or southern type is the most archaic and closest to the Phoenician. The «red» or Western type is the one that was later transmitted to the West and became the ancestor of the Latin alphabet, and bears some crucial features characteristic of that later development. The Blue or Eastern type is the one from which the later standard Greek alphabet emerged. Athens used a local form of the light blue alphabet type until the end of the 5th century BC, which lacked the letters she and psi as well as the vowel symbols eta and omega. In the Old Attic alphabet, kis stood for per kilo second, and phys for ps. Epsilon was used for all three sounds e, e, corresponding to classical epsilon, a, eta respectively, and omicron was used for all of o, o, corresponding to classical omicron, o, omega respectively. The letter eta heta was used for the consonant h. Some variant local letter forms were also characteristic of Athenian writing, some of which were shared with the neighboring but otherwise red alphabet of Euboea, a form of lambda that resembled a Latin L and a form of sigma that resembled a Latin S. Asterisk upsilon is also derived from waw. The classical 24-letter alphabet that is now used to represent the Greek language was originally the local alphabet of Ionia. By the late 5th century BC, it was commonly used by many Athenians. In c. 403 BC, at the suggestion of the Archon Eucleides, the Athenian assembly formally abandoned the Old Attic alphabet and adopted the Ionian alphabet as part of the democratic reforms after the overthrow of the Thirty Tyrants. Because of Euclides's role in suggesting the idea to adopt the Ionian alphabet, the standard 24-letter Greek alphabet is sometimes known as the Eucleidean alphabet. 
Roughly 30 years later, the Euclidean alphabet was adopted in Boeotia and it may have been adopted a few years previously in Macedonia. By the end of the 4th century BC, it had displaced local alphabets across the Greek-speaking world to become the standard form of the Greek alphabet. Letter names When the Greeks adapted the Phoenician alphabet, they took over not only the letter shapes and sound values, but also the names by which the sequence of the alphabet could be recited and memorized. In Phoenician, each letter name was a word that began with the sound represented by that letter, thus Aleph, the word for «ox» was used as the name for the glottal stop, «bet» or «house» for the «b» sound, and so on. When the letters were adopted by the Greeks, most of the Phoenician names were maintained or modified slightly to fit Greek phonology, thus, Aleph, Bet, Gimel became Alpha, Beta, Gamma. The Greek names of the following letters are more or less straightforward continuations of their Phoenician antecedents. Between ancient and modern Greek, they have remained largely unchanged, except that their pronunciation has followed regular sound changes along with other words for instance, in the name of beta, ancient, b, regularly changed to modern, v, and ancient, to modern, i, resulting in the modern pronunciation vita. The name of lambda is attested in early sources as labda besides lambda, in modern Greek the spelling is often lambda, reflecting pronunciation. Similarly, iota is sometimes spelled geota in modern Greek, is conventionally transcribed gamma iota, eta, upsilon, a oi word initially and intervocalically before back vowels and a. Uh. In the tables below, the Greek names of all letters are given in their traditional polytonic spelling. In modern practice, like with all other words, they are usually spelled in the simplified monotonic system. In the cases of the three historical sibilant letters below, the correspondence between Phoenician and Ancient Greek is less clear, with apparent mismatches both in letter names and sound values. The early history of these letters and the fourth sibilant letter, obsolete san, has been a matter of some debate. Here too, the changes in the pronunciation of the letter names between Ancient and Modern Greek are regular. In the following group of consonant letters, the older forms of the names in Ancient Greek were spelled with A, indicating an original pronunciation with E. In Modern Greek these names are spelled with iota. The following group of vowel letters were originally called simply by their sound values as long vowels, E, O, U, and their modern names contain adjectival qualifiers that were added during the Byzantine period, to distinguish between letters that had become confusable. Thus, the letters omicron and omega, pronounced identically by this time, were called omicron small o", and omega big o", respectively. The letter epsilon was called e -salon, plain e to distinguish it from the identically pronounced digraph i, while, similarly, upsilon, which at this time was pronounced y, was called y -salon. Plain y, to distinguish it from the identically pronounced digraph oi. Some dialects of the Aegean and Cypriot have retained long consonants and pronounce amma and kappa. Also, eta has come to be pronounced ita in Cypriot. Topic: <laughs> Letter shapes. Like Latin and other alphabetic scripts, Greek originally had only a single form of each letter, without a distinction between uppercase and lowercase. This distinction is an innovation of the modern era, drawing on different lines of development of the letter shapes in earlier handwriting. The oldest forms of the letters in antiquity are majuscule forms. Besides the upright, straight inscriptional forms capitals found in stone carvings or incised pottery, more fluent writing styles adapted for handwriting on soft materials were also developed during antiquity. Such handwriting has been preserved especially from papyrus manuscripts in Egypt since the Hellenistic period. Ancient handwriting developed two distinct styles, uncial writing, with carefully drawn, rounded block letters of about equal size, used as a book hand for carefully produced literary and religious manuscripts, and cursive writing, used for everyday purposes. The cursive forms approached the style of lowercase letter forms, with ascenders and descenders, as well as many connecting lines and ligatures between letters. In the 9th and 10th century, uncial book hands were replaced with a new, more compact writing style, with letter forms partly adapted from the earlier cursive. This minuscule style remained the dominant form of handwritten Greek into the modern era. During the Renaissance, Western printers adopted the minuscule letter forms as lowercase printed typefaces, while modeling uppercase letters on the ancient inscriptional forms. 
The orthographic practice of using the letter case distinction for marking proper names, titles etc. developed in parallel to the practice in Latin and other Western languages. <laughs> Derived alphabets The Greek alphabet was the model for various others. The Latin alphabet, together with various other ancient scripts in Italy, adopted from an archaic form of the Greek alphabet brought to Italy by Greek colonists in the late 8th century BC, via Etruscan. The Gothic alphabet, devised in the 4th century AD to write the Gothic language, based on a combination of Greek and Latin uncial models. The Glagolitic alphabet, devised in the 9th century AD for writing Old Church Slavonic. The Cyrillic script, which replaced the Glagolitic alphabet shortly afterwards it is also considered a possible ancestor of the Armenian alphabet, which in turn influenced the development of the Georgian alphabet. Other uses Use for other languages Apart from the daughter alphabets listed above, which were adapted from Greek but developed into separate writing systems, the Greek alphabet has also been adopted at various times and in various places to write other languages. For some of them, additional letters were introduced. Antiquity Most of the alphabets of Asia Minor, in UC. 800 to 300 BC to write languages like Lydian and Phrygian were the early Greek alphabet with only slight modifications as were the original Old Italic alphabets Some Paleo-Balkan languages including Thracian for other neighboring languages or dialects such as Ancient Macedonian isolated words are preserved in Greek texts but no continuous texts are preserved The Greco-Iberian alphabet was used for writing the ancient Iberian language in parts of modern Spain Gaulish inscriptions in modern France used the Greek alphabet until the Roman conquest. The Hebrew and Aramaic text of the Bible was written in Greek letters in Origins Hexapla. The Bactrian language, an Iranian language spoken in what is now Afghanistan, was written in the Greek alphabet during the Kushan Empire 65 to 250 AD. It adds an extra letter thorn for the shish sound. The Coptic alphabet adds 8 letters derived from Demotic. It is still used today, mostly in Egypt, to write Coptic, the liturgical language of Egyptian Christians. Letters usually retain an uncial form different from the forms used for Greek today. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages. An 8th century Arabic fragment preserves a text in the Greek alphabet. An old Ossetic inscription of the 10th–12th centuries found in Arxes, the oldest known attestation of an Ossetic language. The old Nubian language of Makuria modern Sudan adds three Coptic letters, two letters derived from Meroitic script, and a digraph of two Greek gammas used for the velar nasal sound. Various South Slavic dialects, similar to the modern Bulgarian and Macedonian languages, have been written in Greek script. The modern South Slavic languages now use modified Cyrillic alphabets. Early modern Turkish spoken by Orthodox Christians was often written in Greek script, and called Karamanlidika. Tosk Albanian was often written using the Greek alphabet, starting in about 1500. The printing press at Mashopolis published several Albanian texts in Greek script during the 18th century. It was only in 1908 that the Monastir Conference standardized a Latin orthography for both Tosk and Gheg. Greek spelling is still occasionally used for the local Albanian dialects in Greece. Aramanian has been written in Greek characters. There is not yet a standardized orthography for Aramanian, but it appears that one based on the Romanian orthography will be adopted. Gagaz, a Turkic language of the Northeast Balkans. Sirguch, a Turkic language spoken by a small group of Orthodox Christians in northern Greece. Urim or Greek Tatar. Pomak language in western Thrace. Judeo-Spanish language, a Jewish dialect of Spanish, has occasionally been published in Greek characters in Greece. In mathematics and science Greek symbols are used as symbols in mathematics, physics and other sciences. 
Many symbols have traditional uses, such as lowercase epsilon, epsilon for an arbitrarily small positive number, lowercase pi, pi for the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, capital sigma, sigma for summation, and lowercase sigma, sigma for standard deviation. Topic: <laughs> Astronomy. Greek letters are used to denote the brighter stars within each of the 88 constellations. In most constellations, the brightest star is designated alpha and the next brightest beta etc. For example, the brightest star in the constellation of Centaurus is known as Alpha Centauri. For historical reasons, the Greek designations of some constellations begin with a lower ranked letter. <laughs> <laughs> International phonetic alphabet Several Greek letters are used as phonetic symbols in the International Phonetic Alphabet (IPA). Several of them denote fricative consonants; the rest stand for variants of vowel sounds. The glyph shapes used for these letters in specialized phonetic fonts is sometimes slightly different from the conventional shapes in Greek typography proper, with glyphs typically being more upright and using serifs to make them conform more with the typographical character of other Latin-based letters in the phonetic alphabet. Nevertheless, in the Unicode encoding standard, the following three phonetic symbols are considered the same characters as the corresponding Greek letters proper. On the other hand, the following phonetic letters have Unicode representations separate from their Greek alphabetic use, either because their conventional typographic shape is too different from the original, or because they also have secondary uses as regular alphabetic characters in some Latin-based alphabets, including separate Latin uppercase letters distinct from the Greek ones. The symbol in Americanist phonetic notation for the voiceless alveolar lateral fricative is the Greek letter lambda lambda, but in the IPA. The IPA symbol for the palatal lateral approximant is, which looks similar to lambda, but is actually an inverted lowercase y. Topic: Use as numerals. Greek letters were also used to write numbers. In the classical Ionian system, the first nine letters of the alphabet stood for the numbers from 1 to 9, the next nine letters stood for the multiples of 10, from 10 to 90, and the next nine letters stood for the multiples of 100, from 100 to 900. For this purpose, in addition to the 24 letters which by that time made up the standard alphabet, three otherwise obsolete letters were retained or revived, digamma, for 6, copa, for 90, and a rare Ionian letter for SS, today called sampi, for 900. This system has remained in use in Greek up to the present day, although today it is only employed for limited purposes such as enumerating chapters in a book, similar to the way Roman numerals are used in English. The three extra symbols are today written as and respectively. To mark a letter as a numeral sign, a small stroke called karia is added to the right of it. Use by student fraternities and sororities In North America, many college fraternities and sororities are named with combinations of Greek letters, and are hence also known as Greek letter organizations. This naming tradition was initiated by the foundation of the Phi Beta Kappa Society at the College of William and Mary in 1776. The name of this fraternal organization is an acronym for the ancient Greek phrase Philosophia Bio Kybernets, Philosophia Bio -Kybernets which means, Love of Wisdom, the Guide of Life and serves as the organization's motto. Sometimes early fraternal organizations were known by their Greek letter names because the mottos that these names stood for were secret and revealed only to members of the fraternity. The Greek letter names of most fraternal organizations today are meaningless and do not stand for anything, which Caroline Winterer states is, "...understandable, considering that general knowledge of the ancient Greek alphabet and language has almost entirely vanished." Different chapters within the same fraternity are almost always with a handful of exceptions designated using Greek letters as serial numbers. The founding chapter of each respective organization is its A chapter. As an organization expands, it establishes a B chapter, a gamma chapter, and so on and so forth. In an organization that expands to more than 24 chapters, the chapter after omega chapter is double A chapter, followed by a B chapter, etc. Each of these is still a chapter letter", albeit a double-digit letter just as 10 through 99 are double-digit numbers. 
The Roman alphabet has a similar extended form with such double-digit letters when necessary, but it is used for columns in a table or chart rather than chapters of an organization. <laughs> Glyph variants Some letters can occur in variant shapes, mostly inherited from medieval minuscule handwriting. While their use in normal topography of Greek is purely a matter of font styles, some such variants have been given separate encodings in Unicode. The symbol B curled beta", is a cursive variant form of beta, beta In the French tradition of ancient Greek topography, beta is used word initially, and B is used word internally. The letter delta has a form resembling a cursive capital letter D, while not encoded as its own form. This form is included as part of the symbol for the drachma, a doctor digraph, in the currency symbols block at U plus 20 AF. The letter epsilon can occur in two equally frequent stylistic variants, either shaped E display style epsilon, lunate epsilon, like a semicircle with a stroke, or epsilon display style var epsilon. Similar to a reversed number 3. The symbol E is designated specifically for the lunate form, used as a technical symbol. The symbol script theta is a cursive form of theta, theta, frequent in handwriting, and used with a specialized meaning as a technical symbol. The symbol K kappa symbol is a cursive form of kappa, kappa used as a technical symbol. The symbol P variant pi is an archaic script form of pi, pi, also used as a technical symbol. The letter rho, rho can occur in different stylistic variants, with the descending tail either going straight down or curled to the right. The symbol r U +03F1 is designated specifically for the curled form, used as a technical symbol. The letter sigma, in standard orthography, has two variants, sigma, used only at the ends of words, and sigma, used elsewhere. The form s lunate sigma resembling a Latin C is a medieval stylistic variant that can be used in both environments without the final, non-final distinction. The capital letter Upsilon can occur in different stylistic variants, with the upper strokes either straight like a Latin Y, or slightly curled. The symbol Y is designated specifically for the curled form Upsilon used as a technical symbol, e.g. in physics. The letter phi can occur in two equally frequent stylistic variants, either shaped as phi display style text style phi a circle with a vertical stroke through it or as phi display style text style var phi a curled shape open at the top. The symbol phi u plus o three d five is designated specifically for the closed form, used as a technical symbol. The letter omega, omega has at least three stylistic variants of its capital form. The open omega, resembling an open partial circle with the opening downward and the ends curled outward, is the standard. The two other stylistic variants, seen more often in modern topography, resemble an underscored full circle, where the underscore may or may not be touching the circle on a tangent in the former case it resembles a superscript omicron similar to that found in the numero sign or masculine ordinal indicator, in the latter, it closely resembles some forms of the Latin letter Q. The open omega is always used in symbolic settings and is encoded in letter-like symbols U as a separate code point for backward compatibility. Topic: <laughs> Computer encodings. For computer usage, a variety of encodings have been used for Greek online, many of them documented in RFC 1947. The two principal ones still used today are ISO, IEC 8859-7 and Unicode. ISO 8859-7 supports only the monotonic orthography, Unicode supports both the monotonic and polytonic orthographies. <laughs> ISO, IEC 8859-7 For the range AOFF hex, it follows the Unicode range 370 to 3 CF. See below, except that some symbols like copyright, one half, section, etc., are used where Unicode has unused locations. 
Like all ISO 8859 encodings, it is equal to ASCII for 007F hex. Topic: <laughs> Greek in Unicode. Unicode supports polytonic orthography well enough for ordinary continuous text in modern and ancient Greek, and even many archaic forms for epigraphy. With the use of combining characters, Unicode also supports Greek philology and dialectology and various other specialized requirements. Most current text rendering engines do not render diacritics well, so, though alpha with macron and acute can be represented as U plus 03B1 U plus 0304 U plus 0301, this rarely renders well. Uh, there are two main blocks of Greek characters in Unicode. The first is Greek and Coptic. U plus 0370 to U plus 03FF. This block is based on ISO 8859-7 and is sufficient to write modern Greek. There are also some archaic letters and Greek-based technical symbols. This block also supports the Coptic alphabet. Formerly, most Coptic letters shared code points with similar-looking Greek letters, but in many scholarly works, both scripts occur, with quite different letter shapes, so as of Unicode 4.1, Coptic and Greek were disunified. Those Coptic letters with no Greek equivalents still remain in this block U +03E2 to, U +03EF. to write polytonic Greek, one may use combining diacritical marks or the precomposed characters in the Greek extended block U plus 1 FOO to U plus 1 FFF. <laughs> Combining and letter-free diacritics Combining and spacing letter -free diacritical marks pertaining to Greek language <laughs> Encodings with a subset of the Greek alphabet IBM code pages 437, 860, 861, 862, 863, and 865 contain the letters Jethsphodes plus beta as an alternate interpretation for See also Greek ligatures Palamedes Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography Topic External Links The Dictionary Definition of Appendix, Greek Script at Wiktionary Media related to Greek alphabet at Wikimedia Commons Greek and Coptic character list in Unicode Examples of Greek handwriting Greek Unicode issues Nick Nicholas at archive.is archived the 5th of August 2012 Unicode FAQ Greek language and script Alphabetic test for Greek Unicode range Alan Wood Numeric test for Greek Unicode range Classical Greek keyboard a browser based tool Collection of free fonts Greek Font Society GR <laughs>